Let's check out the upstairs of the old station. Unlike the downstairs, the upstairs hasn't been lived in for many years. It's far more run down and needs lots of work. The staircase is tiny, but there are these really big windows letting lots of light in. At the top of the stairs is this quirky corridor. You can see the odd shaped doors at the other end. There's some tape on the floorboards. I'm not actually sure what this is here for. You have to duck to get from one end of the stairs to the other because the ceiling's so low. On this side of the stairs, there's three rooms. This is part of the chimney breast for two of the downstairs fireplaces. There's some quirky storage cupboards here. No secret pathway, unfortunately. This is the smallest room. Behind this board will be the top windows that you can see from the outside of the station. There's a metal brace here holding the wall together. There's coloured glass above the upstairs doorways in between the beams. Here's room number two. You can see the beams holding up the roof. This lock is really stiff. There's a boiler in here. And a big airing cupboard. Now for room number three. There's those huge beams again. This is the only upstairs window that isn't a roof window. More cupboard space. I wonder if mice have got in here. Back along the corridor to show you the most exciting part of the upstairs.
It's through this door here, where there's abandoned attic space that's never been converted. Be sure to check out our next video where we explore the attic space. Subscribe to the Old Station Renovation to continue with us on our renovation journey.